Hey guys, my name is Renee Tilby with the Flippin' Tilbys. My husband and I have been flipping and renovating RVs for the last seven plus years. And today I wanna to share with you three tips on how to upgrade your RV headboard. The first tip we have for you today of how to upgrade your RV's headboard is to use some sort of wall covering. So you can use like a tapestry, you can use even like a simple rug, a pretty piece of fabric. Any of those things will work to personalize your headboard space. So this one is a tapestry I found at just like a discount store. I think I found it for like 15 bucks or something like that. You can then get some of this adhesive Velcro and you can attach it to the back side of this and then to the wall so you can easily swap out different wall coverings when you get sick of this and then you're not damaging your RV walls at all. One tip I do have with this is sometimes this adhesive Velcro does not stick very well to the back of fabric. So you can use some extra adhesive to get that to adhere properly. The second tip that we have for upgrading your RV's headboard space is to use wood paneling. So you can get, we usually use this super thin, it's a five mil underlayment, and we will cut it to size and then use that as paneling, either painted or just the natural wood color over it. You can also paint the back of your headboard space and then just do some, a few pieces of this, or you can do paneling across the entire thing. Now, if you don't have access to a saw to cut your paneling to size, most home improvement stores will cut it to size for you in store. You can also find pre-finished wood as well so that if you're keeping the natural wood color you don't have to then finish it when you get back to your RV. This is a really fun option because you can get super creative on the colors you paint the actual paneling, on the colors you paint the actual backs of the wall, on the de design and decoration that you put and patterns that you put the wall paneling on the actual wall. So this is just a six inch piece of wood. This is how we make our faux ship laps. You can get this white. Now after you have the wood picked out Paint if you want it painted, finished with some sort of urethane if you want to do that so it's easily wipeable, it doesn't stain. Um, the next step you need to do is attach it to the wall. So you have a few options. You can use like a pin nailer if you have like a pneumatic nailer um, accessible to you, but you can also just use construction adhesive, put it on the back there and then hold it onto the wall for, you want to keep some pressure on it for at least a few minutes so that you can make sure that it doesn't for sure stick. But you do not have to use power tools for this. You can absolutely just use construction adhesive, making this a pretty easy modification for your RV renovations. And now we come to our third tip on how to easily personalize the headboard space in your RV. So this is going to be wallpaper. Wallpaper is usually fairly inexpensive if you're just using the one space. You can be able to get a huge variety of colors, textures, and looks. And it's usually pretty easy to swap out for something new when you feel like getting a new look. If you are going to use peel and stick wallpaper for this project, we do highly recommend buying a small tub of wallpaper adhesive to roll on the wall or the wallpaper before adhering it because most peel and stick wallpapers are not made to be able to withstand the huge temperature variations that most RVs experience, especially on the exterior walls. They're not insulated the same as sticks and bricks. And so even if the inside of your RV feels cool, it's still getting a lot hotter from the outside when you touch the wall. So just make sure that you use a little bit of wallpaper adhesive when you are applying peel and stick but you can obviously use a traditional wallpaper to transform your headboard space as well if you want the same look as a wallpaper but you want a little more flexibility and for a little bit less cost you can also get a stencil a paint stencil i got a fantastic one from etsy and then you can pick exactly what colors they are this can be a little bit more labor intensive but it's going to be a lot cheaper it's going to be a little bit harder to swap out because you can just pull it off you do have to paint over it but if you are looking for a more cost effective option stencils work fantastic and we really love how they turn out when we are transforming different headboard spaces in our rv renovations and one last bonus tip on how to transform your RV headboard space is to just simply paint it. Sometimes you don't have to go crazy. Just a little bit of paint can go a long way for transforming your space and making it feel super personal to you. I hope these tips were helpful in helping inspire you guys to be able to make your RV feel like your own personal space. Thanks so much for watching.